Growing up, I knew I was different. I liked literature and theater and helping people and I thought that compassion and cooperation were strengths. It wasn't until about roughly 15 years ago when I found what I truly love. Fandoms and cosplay. I was introduced to Harry Potter, Star Wars, and soon after that came one of my favorite and strongest fandoms, Doctor Who. Naturally, I was fascinated by the idea of going anywhere in time and space, meeting new species, and helping people. Do, 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 do. Time. Obviously, my other love of cosplay went hand in hand with this. The idea of a character regenerating into a new face with a new personality and a new quality to them was a gold mine for cosplay. However, the doctor has always been male. This meant two things for me as a cosplayer. I could crossplay, meaning I would give the illusion of being male, or I could do a gender-bent version of the Doctor, meaning that I could cosplay the Doctor, but I would have a feminine take on it. There are other ways you can cosplay, and you don't necessarily have to cosplay the Doctor either. But when it came to cosplaying the Doctor for me, these were the two options I felt most comfortable with. All of that changed this year. The Doctor has regenerated into a woman. Another set of fans is being represented in a way that wasn't before, which is awesome. Not to say that the other faces didn't make you feel that way, but this was like looking in the mirror finally and seeing the Time Lord that goes on adventures and helps people staring you right back with the same face. So this got me thinking, what if I could take qualities of the doctor and reflect them back in my life? What if I could become the Time Lord I wanted to be by looking at all of the faces of the doctor, finding their common thread, and then applying it to my life? What are the common qualities the doctor always has? How can someone who changes their face, parts of their personality, be the same person. If the doctor had just regenerated and you didn't know what their face looked like, how would you know that person walking down the street was the doctor? <sighs> it's a bigger question than I thought. So, I decided to ask some of my friends their thoughts. You know, I was actually kind of thinking about that um, earlier today. Because, uh, yeah, the doctor does change, but he is always, he's always the man-man with the box. Yeah. For me, I would say the thing is, is that no matter what face he or she wears, that the doctor, for the most part, can stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. He does not do blend. He walks down the street with a purpose. It's like you could think, look at him and go, <laughs> that's the doctor. The doctor always has nice charisma. Tishi stands out. The doctor always has also a uh, fabulous coat, which is uh, something that definitely makes the doctor the doctor. No. Even though it, I it guess maybe if you saw the person wearing the same outfit over and over and over, <laughs> maybe you would like it. You'd be like, oh, that's the doctor. It has to be because <laughs> they keep wearing they the keep same, wearing the same thing. thing. <laughs> I was at the supermarket when right past me zooms this man and he's wearing his brown suit with like a, a blue shirt and this tie and he is running down the aisle to try and find something. I'm like, 
holy crap, it's the doctor! <laughs> that, if, if they're running somewhere, it's probably the doctor. What makes the doctor the doctor is his mind. I think that such brilliance can only be seen in very few people. His style is almost to ramble until he figures out what, to what do. it is. Like yeah. he keeps either he, either he keeps talking or he keeps the, the, the villain or whoever it is talking yeah. until he figures out the solution. Yeah, if there's a problem and somebody is yammering on, that's probably the doctor. And uh, the doctor is always up for a good mystery. Um, you'll never know uh, the doctor to not <laughs> take up uh, a good mystery. So the doctor always has this like wicked curiosity, like this fascination with the world, with, with anything, with everything. Always wanting to learn more, do more, find more, discover. Uh, the ins and outs and hows and why things work. It's his heart. He holds so much empathy and his ability to love is so great that he shares it with each and every one of us. His willingness to help other people, no matter what the consequences are to himself. There's always that little special spark that makes the doctor the doctor. One thing that I would like to culminate from the doctor is his energy. He's always bouncing off the walls, doing one thing or another, and running from one problem to the next. I think it would be great to have that in our daily lives. I would love to have that amount of energy. The doctor is weird and, and whimsical and unique and... Um, they have a silliness about them. Regardless of what regeneration it is, they are out and proud about who they are and they're unashamed. They are weird and strange and unique and that is exactly what makes them beautiful. That's what makes every individual so beautiful is their own uniqueness. And I, I'd really love to show more of that within myself. To be unafraid to be my own whimsical person. Intelligence. I mean, I like to think of myself as pretty intelligent, but, you know, not as intelligent as a doctor would seem, I would say. Problem-solving skills, you know, a mathematician, so, you know, wanting to be better at problem-solving is always something that I want to be uh, <laughs> more efficient at. And, uh, well, to be able to uh, turn any device into a sonic device, that would be, a <laughs> that would be something I would love to be able to cultivate. I actually kind of admire the, the the doctor always like works out the problems out loud and, and kind of talks to people. You get made fun of doing that. As, as a, as a kid. I would love to be able to be like, you know, I'm gonna process this. I'm gonna out process loud this, and... And, and I'm gonna try to get other people involved in this, and I'm gonna we're gonna solve this problem, and and it, it and, inspires and, them. Yeah, it yeah. inspires other people instead of just being like, oh, that's weird. It's oh yeah, you're right. Well, let's do that, or let's try this. I always try to come up with solutions for people where, where it works out for everybody's benefit, not just my own or their own, but the doctor is a master of that. His confidence. Yeah. Yeah. He's super confident. Yeah. I mean, 
Is he ever not confident? Definitely his empathy. Oh, his ability to care for everybody and never give up, never give in, and always be kind. The doctor's always good about seeing something uh, special in certain people. That's why he always picks these very particular companions to travel with them. Yeah, he's also, he cares about everybody. Mm -hmm. he, he's not just one species or one person. Be good to everyone, be kind to everyone. From being kind to one another and loving one another and respecting that we're all just trying to be human, we're all just trying to be people in this world, you know, even when we have different goals in the short term, we all have the same goals in the long term, and that's to just love and be loved, and, and we can do that by listening to one another and being more kind. His selflessness, his fearlessness, and his love and compassion for everybody. It basically comes down to uh, laugh hard, run fast, be kind. <laughs> So that's what I'm here to do. I am going to take all of the common qualities of the doctor. What makes the doctor the doctor? And over the next few months, I am going to really try to embody and cultivate those qualities. The doctor is always different, but the doctor is also uniquely themselves, and we can all bring elements of them into our own lives. Follow me on my journey of how I become the doctor. <laughs>